from Miami Day, Broward in the Keys. This is South Florida's CBS 4 News. Well, this sounds like something out of Pirates of the Caribbean. Mm. Jewels and gold hidden away deep underneath the water. And in just a few days, a man is taking a crew to go look for the sunken treasure. As CBS 4 Shamari Stone tells us, they are using some high tech equipment to find their loot. Well, the ship is extraordinary, fascinating, and wait until you see the high tech devices on board that will hopefully help this crew find the sunken treasure. It's absolutely exciting. Sea explorer Burt Weber is the director of operations on the Ocean Lady, a 128 foot exploration boat docked along the Miami River. Weber and his crew will use it to hopefully find a valuable pirate ship. One realistically. Uh, what well, could be aboard that, that vessel could be a $150 million. He believes the ship called the English Cosair recovered a treasure on board the Concepcion in the 1600s off the coast of the Dominican Republic. It sank at the South Reef, and they believe the treasure is still on board deep in the water. His divers will wear these U.S. Navy jet propulsion what they boots. Do is they attach twin, bo both uh, left and right leg, to the, the calf of the diver's leg. His battery pack is worn midsection and control. And once he turns this on and uh, achieves the designated speed he wants, now he has the propulsion and he conserves his air. They also have a hydraulic crane, special reef boats equipped with a GPS, radio communications, and depth recording. This metal detector will be used to detect any jewels, gold, or silver. This is towed behind the vessel. Here we have 300 feet. Private donors are funding the expedition, but what happens if modern-day pirates of the Caribbean try and steal the high-tech equipment? The crew has a high-powered answer, M16 assault rifles. I totally, for defense purposes, these are locked up at all times and only uh, are accessed in, in an emergency. Weber hopes to find the sunken treasure with the help of technology. As one says, the, you know, you look for the proverbial needle in the haystack. That's a, that, that's a tough task, but we got the equipment to find the needle. The ship is scheduled to leave within a week. It could be out on the water by the Dominican Republic for five months. We'll let you know if they find anything. In Miami, I'm Shamari Stone, CBS 4 News. You know, they do find those needles in the haystack, and with the price of gold where it is these days, it's a lot of money when they find one of these treasures. Come a long way from just an X on a map. <laughs> Great technology, yeah.